Hey, everybody, Small G Gay. Do you guys think you're in some kind of rave club? Like you're in ecstasy and it's some kind of rave club? Somebody's playing psychic TV? Well, you're not. You're just on one of my blogs. But you can tell that I'm experienced. How's everybody doing? I'm doing terrific. This is a close-up from a book called The Cult of Lego, which I just picked up. I've been into Legos lately. I've been getting into Legos, if I can be candid. Um, Rush Limbang, you'll be happy to know that I'm not that into Barbie anymore because their line sucks. I'm sorry, but the line is really bad. I don't know what is going on there. I think there's some problems because that line is bad. And I sort of like Grace Kelly, but they're really overdoing the Grace Kelly. And I got a Grace Kelly, and I don't need Grace Kelly in a million outfits, and they need to do something besides Grace Kelly because they're losing me. Oh. So I always have to have one toy in my life, and right now I'm into Legos. I like toys. I like having like a, a therapeutic, fun little toy. And I especially like toys at Christmas time. I like to have a toy to put together on Christmas, especially being a gay with no children of my own, except for my own little parakeet, Whitaker Chambers, chiming in, as you can hear in the background. He's probably saying, feed me, I'm hungry, what's going on? And what is going on, America? As I just posted on Twitter, apparently there's some kind of uh, Twitter boycott tomorrow because of their new policy. So between that and Kyle Raccio being in beautiful New York City, Kyle Raccio is in town, and uh, he and I are, are going to uh, trip the light fantastic. Now we're going to be hitting New York City tomorrow evening, and I don't know if I'll have enough time to fit all the rest of you into my busy social life, so the Small GK Show is canceled for tomorrow evening, although who knows what might happen over the course of the weekend. Who knows what might happen over the course of the weekend. And with so much happening next week, put it this way, the new Small G Gay show and my new Small G Gay vlogs will be appearing at very inconvenient times, and you will probably be incredibly oversaturated with me running at the mouth. So speaking of running at the mouth, Mitt Romney and his people... Whitaker Chambers agrees. Mitt Romney and his people lying. Sliming the opposition and lying, rewriting history, character assassination, and also uh, character assassination of supporters of Tea Party. It's the same old story everywhere I go. Same usual suspects. Just imagine, oh, you know what? It's midnight as I record this. You know what that means? Ann Coulter has risen from her grave. She's wearing that little black dress that she wore when she heard that Audrey Hepburn wore that sort of thing at cocktail parties in 1965. And she continues to wear that because the only fashion input she's getting in her life is from Matt Drudge, another man trapped, like Anne, trapped in 1965. And she's going to go out and attempt to be Audrey Hepburn tonight somewhere. Right. And then she'll go crawling back to her crypt at sunrise. Oh, she'll probably just end up tweeting all night and yelling at everybody. Poor, poor Ann Coulter. Will her career survive her behavior this past week? It's not just Ann, you know. I talked about this on Twitter. There's a lot of people like Michelle Malkin. You know, uh, a lot of people who, uh, and people who weren't there for Newt, who let this go on, people like Michael Savage, Glenn Beck has been horrible, all the people on GBTV have been horrible, every one of them, everyone on GBTV, 
Um, there's been a few bright spots on Fox. Uh, Bill O'Reilly defended Newt Gingrich. Uh, Greta Van Susteren did a terrific interview with him tonight. But the vast majority of the Fox people have also been revealed to be total mitt sellout hacks. You know, they're not there for Tea Party. They're not about Tea Party. They're not about conservatives. They're just there, you know, basically to become famous. They're just publicity seeker whores, you know. And they've been revealed to be what they are, you know. And thank God for Rush today. Thank God for Rush. I mean, you know, Rush has had his moments where he's been, you know, he went really ballistic on New. He bought into that whole thing about the Bane movie, even though no one had seen it. And, uh, you know, he went ballistic on, on Newt, but, you know, at least he believed it. And then he has been coming out to bat for him the past couple of days because the Romney people simply went so far that it was beyond anything that any serious adult um, could look at with any sort with any sort of uh, I mean how could you how can these people how could these people how could these people repeat these stories how could these people seriously you know smear Newt Gingrich as being anti-Reagan and just point blank telling all of us who were alive and remember all of it that everything we remember wasn't true and i mean you know rush was like well how come i didn't know about any of this he was like that yesterday but you know i'm not rush limbaugh and i knew that it wasn't true i mean i wasn't even a conservative then and i knew it was all lies you know so it reached the point where they were asking, where they were saying, um, red is blue, yellow is green. You know, it was so, as I said on the show last night, Orwellian, you know, reinventing history. And so today on his show, and I've linked it everywhere, today Rush was talking about how they did it, how they took things out of context. <clears throat> Excuse me took uh you know lines out of context uh warped their meaning and basically went to a, a couple of old codgers who didn't know any better and spoon fed it to them and got them to uh embarrass themselves basically and it's tragic because you know these guys you know are getting up there and um they were kind of made fools of and used used um you know, and a campaign based on lies and smears and dirty tricks, you know? And I still have people who are so, I mean, some of the people that just like, just like poor Rush Limbang who believes all this, and even though it's been shown to be lies, I, I don't think, I don't think he's seen any of that. Sad. I mean, some people are just not getting the whole picture here. But then Sarah Palin, you know, that left-wing uh, liberal Sarah Palin, <clears throat> far to the left of Mitt Romney, our, the defender, the last defender of capitalism in America. Sarah Palin really got him today on Facebook, called him a cannibal, which had also called him on Facebook in another debate. And um, was basically saying the same thing that I said on the show last night, that this was uh, beyond the pale, that they're basically, they're basically asking us to forget yesterday and accept a new version of yesterday, new thought, you know, plus good, double plus good. Also that we can also that we can somehow accept Mitt Romney as our president. And can you imagine living in that world where we're asked to do that to our brains every day? To accept that character, that liar, that cheat, that crook, the man is a crook. 
you guys have to see that new movie, the one about uh, about what he did with Medicare. He's just like a scam artist. It's just cr- crony capitalism. That whole Romney care thing is just to force everyone to have to use the products that he's pushing with these companies. That's what Obamacare is. It's a scam. It's like this way they can get government contracts to do a billion, you know, a billion, uh, you know, uh, doses of swine flu vaccine. You know that there's going to be a swine flu epidemic, so everyone gets a vaccine, and then they they get a kickback. They get the government contract. That's what Romney was doing. He doesn't care about anybody. Isn't that clear by now? He's not even a liberal. He's a crony capitalist. He's Exhibit A. And I I tell you, I've been talking to Kyle. The man is never going to be president. In the the, uh, unlikely event that they can, they're not going to brainwash anybody. They'll brainwash Rush Lim, Limbang, um, you know, a few a few dear souls like that that they might be able to twist around. But the vast majority, I mean, look at the numbers. There was no bump for for Mitt Romney out of that debate last night, and that's what I also said on the show. Remember how Kyle and Shelley were all flipped out, and I was like, no. Because Mitt didn't do that well. That that audience was stacked for him, and it was all fake. Just like everything he does, everything he touches, everything he touches. You know, I don't think Coulter, going back to Vampira, I don't think Coulter is uh, doing this necessarily for money. I want to make that clear. I think it's because she hates common people. She's never liked Tea Party. She's never liked Palin. But anyway, she doesn't like the peanut gallery. That's what she's doing it for. And they're also, you know, the the, the gay, uh, the homo cons, they, they, they like uh, Mitt. They're all sucking up to him because they think that he's going to give them gay marriage. And that's all they care about. So anyway, Sarah's going to be at CPAC, though. So won't that be terrific? With all this going on, Sarah Palin's giving the, the CPAC keynote. And all eyes will be on her and her wonderful words about the GOP establishment and how they need to go. They just need to go. Or just, I don't know. I just, we need new people. We need new blood. Tea Party. Go, everybody. Love you all. Well, some of you I don't really love anymore. But some of you I love more than ever. And uh, to be continued. Bye.